Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. My name is Tinola Achai. Today I'm going to be talking about the major differences between EDT and EDP. On every bottle of perfume, you see all the toilets or all the perfume, which represents EDT and EDP. And I want to just help you better understand these terms and know how to choose your perfumes based on these terms. Now, the first difference between an EDT and an EDP is the ratio of essential oil or the concentration. The EDP, which is the Eau de Parfum, has a higher essential oil concentration of about 15 to 20%, while the EDT usually has an essential oil co concentration of about um, 8 to 15 percent now this volume can vary from one perfume house to the other or from one perfume even in the same perfume house to another now what am i saying like a prada did a prada luna rosa that is edt and it has a concentration of 20 percent and that is why you will find out that even though the EDP has the higher concentration, some perfumes EDT will last longer than another perfume house's EDP because it depends on the concentration. Following this, another thing you will note between EDT and EDP, I have a particular perfume here, Ugo Boss Bottled. We have the EDT and the EDP. Though the EDP is a 200 ml bottle, while the EDT is a 100 ml bottle, you can already see the difference in the juice. They, will, they might have the same or similar notes, or sometimes between the EDT and the EDP, the notes are totally different. And that means that they might smell differently. Even though the perfumes are named the same thing, Ugo Boss Bottled, EDT, Ugo Boss Bottled, EDP. The next thing is that the EDT, is usually cheaper than the EDP. You know, it follows that you have <laughs> high essential oil. So obviously the costs are usually different. Now it will seem like all the advantages is with the Eau de Parfum, which is the EDP. But in this case, the EDT tends to age a lot slower than the EDP because of the higher level of alcohol in the EDT that tends to preserve it and, you know, retains the intensity for a longer period of time. Now, between the EDP and the EDT of a particular perfume, like the Hugo Boss I showed you just earlier on, the EDP of that perfume would last longer than the EDT. But when you are comparing two different perfumes, the EDT of one perfume can tend to last longer than the EDP of another perfume. One of the longest lasting perfume that I really know is Amaf Club de Nuit Intense. This perfume is super long lasting and it is EDT. And this happens because, you know, between one perfume to another, the ingredient that is used to make a perfume will also determine the longevity. And so an EDT of a woody perfume my last longer than an EDP of a citrus perfume, as long as they are different perfume. But if it is the same exact perfume that has EDP and EDT, then the EDP of that perfume will last longer than the EDT. So that will be all for the differences between EDT and EDP. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking to buy authentic designer perfumes anywhere in Nigeria, please hit us up at absolutefragrance.com.ng. Cheers.